If you'd like to learn how to do this effect, stick around and I'll show you. I'll also show you where you can download the two files so you can have a play around with this yourself. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. One of my subscribers, Nicholas Andro, has asked if I could do this tutorial because he's come up with an idea that he'd like to be able to do a video of his grandchildren morphing into their older selves. What a lovely idea. Nice one, Nicholas. Okay, I'll start this tutorial by getting a photo of me when I was a child. Who laughed? I don't blame you. I was a right scruff. <laughs> and what I'll do is I'll then create a video of that image of me as a child morphing into how I look now. So let's see what that video will look like once it's completed. Okay, that image of me was taken yesterday before the big takeaway last night. <laughs> Only joking, let's not use that one, we'll do a proper one. Right, let's jump into Filmora and see what we can do. First thing we need to do is import the two images we want, which is of a mother and a daughter. And like I said earlier, Near the end, I'll show you where you can download these images so you can have a play and maybe follow along with this tutorial. So what we need to do is drag down the daughter image first, but we're going to put it on the second track, not on the first track. And I'll also drag down the mother and put that on the track above it. Show you why in a second. First thing we need to do is hide the second track so we can see the daughter. And we want to remove this background because we want to put the same background behind the mother and the daughter as they transform or morph should I say sorry so make sure you're on the right track top one's hidden so that's okay on the right track there we go to image AI tools and click on AI portrait that gets rid of the background now let's hide the daughter track unhide the mother track and do the same for the mother go to image AI tools and AI portrait that gets rid of that. Now it's a bit funky around the face there, so I need to make the edge thickness a bit thicker, I think. Yep, that looks a bit better. You just drag it up and down until you until you feel it looks right, and that looks right to me. I'll check the daughter's one again. So I'll hide the mother, unhide the daughter. She doesn't look too bad. I'll add a bit of edge thickness on. Let's just put maybe one on here. Yeah, that looks okay. Now I want the daughter to be a little bit bigger in the frame, so make sure we're on the daughter track, mother track is hidden, and go to basic, and just increase the scale a bit. And a bit more, a bit more, and I'll also move it up as well. Wrong way, the other way. <laughs> move it up that way. <laughs> okay. So, round about there. That looks good, pretty centre in the frame. Now what we need to do is unhide the mother track, take the opacity down on the mother so we can see through here and see the daughter yes I'm using the wrong track <laughs> I forgot to click on the top track happens all the time so it's a good lesson to learn make sure you're on the right track we'll drop the opacity down and now we can see through to the daughter what we want to do is have the mother's eyes in line with the daughter's eyes because they're the first thing you look at so we'll increase the scale of the mother I'll move it about on the screen. Right, that's not too far. You can actually zoom in as well. So if we click on here and go to zoom level, I'll try 200%. And here you see a little box that you can drag up and down. That looks quite good. I'll just decrease the opacity again so we can see where the eyes are matching on the mother. And not far out, they look a little bit wider to me. So I'll make the scale of the mother slightly less again. Okay, maybe about there, and I'll move the image of the mother so that the eyes more or less match up. Again, needs to go a bit less, I think. That looks about right. Take that up. Take them over the eyes. Don't worry about the mouth, because the first thing you look at are the eyes. So I'll just decrease it again slightly, I think, and move it up. That doesn't look too bad. So let's put the um, scale back to zoom level fit. Okay, and now as we increase and decrease the opacity, we get an idea of what the morph is going to look like. Not bad, not bad. Great. 
what we need to do now is drag the mother over and put her side by side with the daughter. We also need a backdrop, a background for both images. So if you go to stock media, and I've already found one, it's like a, a brick pattern. I just put in brick wall on there. Pexels, I think it was, let's check. Brick wall. Do a search. Yes, there's loads of brick wall patterns there. So I found one that I, that I like from there, and I'm just gonna drag that underneath. I'll extend that the width of the two images. So it now looks like they've got that same background. Now, it, don't, it doesn't look like it's gonna morph very well at the moment, but what we need to do is go to Transitions, and under Transitions, search for Dissolve. It's generally the first one that comes up anyway, but we'll search for it. And it's that Dissolve there, the Cross Dissolve. Drag that between the mother and the daughter, or the daughter and the mother, the other way around. And now that's created a cross fade transition and gives like a morphing effect. Let me show you, let me just play that. So it morphs into the mother. How great's that? Let's try that again. Background looks a bit funky for some reason. Let me just delete that and put the same background in again. Might have been something I was doing. There was a bit of a glitch in the background, I don't know if you noticed, but Hopefully this is okay. Actually, you can see a bit of red on there, that means it needs rendering. So I shall click the render button. That's rendered. And I shall run this again. That looks better. And you can see it morphs into the daughter. Sorry, from the daughter into the mother. Great effect. And the important thing is to make sure you get the same background. So I would recommend deleting the background using the AI, whatever it was called, because I can't remember. <laughs> AI portrait, of course it is, what am I like, yeah, AI portrait. And then it just looks better because if you've got two different backgrounds and they morph, yeah, it may work, you know, it depends what you want, but in this case it didn't. So let's just try that again. Yeah, that morphs quite nicely. And again, you can speed up or slow down the morphing just by simply clicking and dragging on the transition, the dissolve transition. So that will make it a faster morph now. So. You see that morph quicker, and that wasn't bad as well. Or you can slow it down as well, make it bigger there. Let's try that one. The faster morph is definitely better because once you get to about there, you can see two mouths coming off. <laughs> you don't want that. Okay, so let's try it with a faster transition. Yeah, that definitely looks better. Um, obviously the mother's head is bigger than the daughter's, so that's why you always focus on the eyes. It's the first thing you look at when you're looking at somebody. So you look at the eyes when you're playing the transition and you can see it looks far better. And that's it. There are a few pre press pre 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 Oh my God. There's a few things you need to know before you start this. That's easier to say. Is yes, you can do it with video, but it's a hell of a lot harder. You've got to do um, all sorts of different things with it. So I'd stay away from video if I was you, but cre you can create a video from images as I've just shown you there. The images obviously need to be basically facing the same way. Obviously it doesn't matter what clothes they're wearing, but if they're facing the same way with the same facial expression, that really helps. Anyway, Nice little short tutorial for you there. And like I said, a great suggestion by Nicholas. Thanks, Nicholas. And I hope it all worked for you. I hope you managed to do some videos. If you do, drop them down in the comments below. Let me see them. I'd love to see them. And don't forget, I told you where you can get these two images of the mother and daughter. I'll leave a link in the description below to go to my website and you can download those two images with the background on so you can take them off as and when and have a play around with them. You might want to leave the backgrounds on and see how that morphs, so that would be interesting. But I hope this tutorial has been helpful. I enjoy doing them for you. Thanks very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, a like, and hit the notification bell. It really does help my channel. Thanks for watching. Now go have some fun.